Hello there. Have you ever thought that Apt Package Manager on Debian is not really user friendly? Maybe it could look a bit nicer while it's downloading packages, while it's giving you information about packages. Uh, well, can, can it be a bit simpler? Uh, can you execute, I don't know, update and upgrade uh, in one command or something like that? Um, th there is a solution, it's called Nala. This is um, like a front end uh, that works through Python and it manages um, your Debian packages uh, directly through apt library. Um, apt Python library actually, and it's not actually executing apt command uh, per se, right? Uh, let me show this to you. Okay, we are on GitHub where Nala is uh, hosted and le let's see. So this is a front end for lib, lib uh, apt uh, package manager. Uh, spe specifically, we interface using the Python apt uh, API. Uh, so it's saying how it's uh, a little bit better for new users. Uh, this is how to install it. This is something that I am going to show you. Uh, outside of printing formatting, the number one reason to use Nala or apt is parallel downloads. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Uh, there is a fetch command. This is a command that actually only works on Debian uh, for now. And it will select the best mirror uh, to due to the speed and ping times uh, and basically you will get faster downloads. So faster downloads, uh, parallel downloads, there is a history command, we're going to go through that. Uh, there are some uh, completions and I guess let's get to it. Let's remove this from my screen and let's uh, just remember how it looks like to download something through the regular apt uh, package manager. So you're going to do sudo like this. Okay, we have now listed everything that's uh, called NeoVim. Uh, so this is something that we want to install, for example. There we go. It is telling you which packages are going to be installed and it's going to download them and install them, right? So let's just skip that for now and install Nala first. There we go, these are the packages that are going to be installed that are needed for Nala. Let's just confirm all of that. Good, good. We are now on Raspberry Pi 5, so the speed is according to this device's speed. Uh, let's go with Nala straight away. There we go, this is the interface of Nala. So what can we do here? Nala, let's ask it which version is it currently. Okay, so no, now we know this. Um, let's, um, Nala, okay, let's list, uh, let's list, okay, let's, let's search. Let's search the same thing that we searched with apt. Okay, we are getting pretty much the same interface. Uh, what was the command? Um, we have install, list, purge, remove, search, show, show package details. This is an interesting one. Nala, show NeoVim. So there you go. Uh, this is the uh, package details for NeoVim. It depends on all these things, recommends these things, suggests these things, uh, conflicts with... Uh, why does it conflict? Why does NeoVim conflict with NeoVim? Okay, I, I don't know this. Uh, this is strange, but the, there's the description and let's uh, let's install NeoVim. Let's say that we want to install it. Now, uh, in, uh, install NeoVim. How does that look like compared to the apt? Okay, this is a bit nicer, right? We have all these packages listed here in green color. Uh, we have some suggestion here. We are going to install 14 packages. Let's just press enter. Oh, so this is the uh, main interface for installation. You get a, a nice, neat little progress bar. Uh, and we are almost done. Yep, we are done. So basically we now have NeoVim installed. Let's go with Nala history. Nala history. So this is the, um, uh, th these are the commands that we have um, executed so far. Let's go with Nala upgrade. So it's fetching new packages and 
it's giving us a chance to upgrade yeah, the system. So we have now skipped two steps that we were supposed to do with apt, apt uh, update and then apt upgrade. And we're just going to press enter for now. Okay, so this is the upgrade of our operating system in progress. Hopefully this will not take too much time, but the reason why I want to do this is because I need to have a couple of uh, Nala commands listed in my history, right? So we are done with this. Let's install something else. Nala in install Joe. Okay, another editor, no dependencies. Okay, let's go with that. And we are done. So let's go with history, Nala history. So now we have these commands that we have done previously, right? Upgraded a lot of packages, installed NeoVim, installed Joe. Okay, let's pretend that we want to uninstall uh, Joe the normal way. So Joe didn't have any uh, dependencies, right? So if we go with apt, sorry, if we go with apt, it, the apt will tell us that it's going to remove Joe, right? Let's not do that. Let's do it with Nala instead. And what's, what is going to happen? The same thing is going to happen. Nala is going to just remove Joe because there are no dependencies. Just, let's just confirm this and we are now getting rid of uh, Joe and let's remove, uh, actually let's use apps to remove uh, NeoVim. Okay, so these are the packages that were automatically installed and are no longer required, right? So what this command is going to do, it's going to remove NeoVim and after that you're going to use apt uh, auto remove to remove the rest of it, right? This is, this is normal. Let's not do this for now, let's use just Nala for this. Nala remove NeoVim. So what Nala is going to do, Nala is going to uh, remove um, NeoVim and the rest of these packages. So the, this whole system is um, uh, smarter, right? But also, let's not do that for now. Also, you can go with uh, Nala history. So you have your history, which is going to remind you what uh, have you installed on your system. We only have a couple of commands in this history, but after a couple of days or months, you're going to have a pretty long history and someday you're going to be uh, tired of a certain application and you will not remember what was automatically installed with something and you will just go through the history and remember, okay, this is something I don't no longer need and let's just remove uh, NeoVim, right? So now history, undo and pick a number of the ID of your history command. So this is undo one, right? Let's undo one. And this is going to remove basically any of him, right? And whatever has come with, uh, with it, right? And this is pretty much it. So Nala help, let's see, is there anything else? Well, auto purge and auto remove, you can pretty much be sure of what it does. Uh, clean the local archive of download the packages files if you want to clean up some space. Fetch, this is going to be uh, something from your, for your homework uh, if you are on an actual Debian system uh, because I cannot use this on Raspberry Pi operating system. History, we already passed through that. Installation, yes. Um, purging, removing, searching. Well, I, I think we are uh, pr pretty much done with this, right? So what do you think of Nala? I think it's really, really pretty and I think it's a neat addition to any uh, Debian-noid uh, installation. So, you know, if you're using Raspberry Pi, Ubuntu, uh, Pop OS or the actual Debian, it doesn't really matter. I think it's, uh, it's a good addition to your uh, commands, if nothing else, then for the parallel downloads and history. I really like history. And I guess that's it for today's video and I'm going to see you in the next one.